FortiSOAR agent is a lightweight software that we can deploy on a remote location. Um, you know, so to work as a, a sort of um, proxy between that location and uh, the main instance of uh, FortiSOAR. And it has actually many uh, advantages. So basically, if, uh, for example, the remote location is a segmented network where the uh, the main FortiSOAR instance cannot access directly. So it's a perfect uh, use case where we can use the agent to uh, work as a bridge between these two locations. So uh, whenever, for example, there is a requirement to fetch a data, it will be done by the uh, agent and then forwarded to the uh, main instance via the uh, message the secure message exchange. And then whenever we need to take any uh, action on any of the um, uh, infrastructure, whether it's on, on the network infrastructure or the security infrastructure, we can do it as well uh, through, the, uh, through the agent. At the same time, the agent is very helpful for scalability. So we can set up multiple agents to share the load of um, whether collecting data or taking action on the environment across multiple, uh, multiple machines. The agent can also be used in a large environment or a, an MSSP with a multi-tenant architecture where each tenant can have one or multiple uh, agents. And this actually um, prevents uh, the requirement to have a VPN, for example, link between uh, or dedicated uh, network between the, um, uh, between the main instance and the tenant environment. So that was a brief introduction to um, uh, FortiSOAR agent. Um, now to deploy the agent, we need a CentOS, uh, a minimum of 7.8. We will need to install a couple of packages. So we need, well, that's the old habit. So we need to install uh, GCC and Python three development uh, package. All right. This will take some time. Once the installation is completed, we can move to a FortiSOAR web interface. We browse to settings, agents, add we give our uh, new agent a name. So for sure, agent one, description, agent one, ring segment, for example, 10. Right, and then we need to select which um, secure message exchange this agent will connect to because uh, typically uh, the agent or a remote FortiSOAR instance doesn't connect directly to the main FortiSOAR. It has to go through uh, a secure message exchange. Um, we have covered already the installation in a previous video and uh, it will be linked in the description. So we select our uh, secure message exchange and then the team or the use group to which this, uh, this agent belongs. The agent then is in awaiting remote connection state. So it's expecting us to install the agent package. Uh, so we have the link uh, where we can download the package, but right before we download it, we need to select what connectors to include in the installation package. So for example, we can install all the, the connectors that are available in the um, uh, main instance or what, a set, set of them, or we can um, reinstall the connectors that were previously installed on a previous agent installation. Or of course, we only take the default. So in our case, we'll take the uh, default. And the default is basically just the utility connector. All right, download. And then we upload the downloaded file to uh, the agent machine. So SCP. After that, we need to run the installer on the uh, agent uh, machine. So we can simply use 
this command. Once done, we go back to the web interface where we have the uh, stages set to remote node connected. Therefore, um, the agent has been successfully installed. Uh, by default, the uh, agents are associated with um, the main uh, instance, but uh, of course we can uh, use them with uh, dedicated uh, tenants in a multi-tenant environment. This is something we're going to see in a, in a coming video. Thanks for watching.